Hey YouTube, this is Dave, and today I'm going to show you my Motorola Atrix lap dock connected to my iPhone 4. Um, and I chose my iPhone 4 because there are some things you can get in City. It's the um, only phone I have that's jailbroken, and uh, you can get a couple of tweaks in City to make this work. Um, and I'm going to just show you the connection now. Um, you connect the iPhone to the Apple uh, digital AV adapter, okay, and then you got an HDMI, and it runs full size HDMI run back there, and I'll show you the connection in a second, and then you have your 30 pin uh, regular wire that came with your, uh, you know, the charge and sync cable that came with your phone, and uh, it runs back, and um, I run it to a <clears throat> USB female, and uh, the USB female goes to the back. Now let me show the adapters in the back that I have. Um, when you, the funny thing is, when you have the lid up, the iPhone will not charge. But it's only when you close the lid. Watch. It's only when you close the lid, it starts charging. I don't get it. Um, you know, but the minute you lift it up, it stops charging. I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to go to some forms. Uh, I think it has to do with the data cable. And you have to snip it, and you know something weird like that. You just have to have power only, and it will work. I even tried it in the rear USBs, and I can't get it to work. See, you heard the ding? That's it's charging now. So we're gonna figure out how to do that. Maybe I have the wrong wire. I heard you need a USB five pin. Uh, maybe this is not a five pin, but I got some stuff coming in the mail. Now this adapter I got from Radio Shack only because I couldn't wait three or four weeks from China, um, and I have here a female to female uh, adapter HDMI and then I have this funky elbow bending um, mini HDMI to regular size HDMI female and then the HDMI cable a normal one that you would connect to any uh, HDMI device and it goes right into here so the USB um, connected in here and connected there now like unlike Android and the Raspberry Pi uh, it, you can actually use the green and white wire uh, inside this USB to run the keyboard, uh, make the keyboard work. But with iOS, unfortunately, you can't um, connect keyboard uh, wired. Uh, you can do a Bluetooth keyboard like the one I have here, which is paired. And I have a tweak from Cydia that allows me to uh, use the mouse. Uh, so now that you saw the connections, let me lift the lid back up. It stops charging for some reason. And... The display opens up. Now you can control your, you can use the keyboard on the iPhone 4. Uh, you can scroll through. Uh, you see that my icons turn it sideways. Uh, you can flip up and it will flip back into place and then flip again and do whatever orientation you like. So I kind of keep it in front here. So you can also pair a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard like I did here. And when you scroll along, uh, you'll be able to uh, see a little mouse, and that's a tweet called BTC Stack or something like that. I have all the names in the description, and when we go into settings, I'll show you. Um, so here you see a mouse now running along, and uh, you can you know swipe pages, and you know you don't have to use the Apple uh, keyboard and trackpad. Uh, you can use those tiny little ones. Maybe even disassemble this whole cover here if you're going to dedicate this just to a iPhone and maybe put a small little uh, Bluetooth keyboard and trackpad and pair it Bluetooth to this device and connect it all up and then you can start typing away you know but I'm not going to do that because I'm going to use this for a Raspberry Pi and also uh, an Android stick uh, like the Minix uh, or that uh, MK808 or 802 uh, so you know I'm going to leave it like this and I'll just be happy with you know controlling it this way or say I went into a typing something I had to type uh, let's go into a notepad and I wanted to make a new notepad well, actually I could do this with the mouse what am I doing so I can go with the mouse and I can make a new notepad uh, the sensitivity of my mouse I have to adjust that um, you could there are settings in there so now say I was to you know want to type something, I can pretty much type. It's pretty responsive. Uh, you know, you've seen there other videos of this. And, um, you know, I'm just showing you that you can mirror on a Atrix, Motorola Atrix laptop. 
uh, from an iPhone 4. And guess what? It works with an iPhone 5 as well. And I'm going to show you that in a second. So one more thing I want to show, a couple more things I want to show you. Uh, first, let's go to settings because I'm sure you guys are dying to know uh, what, um, what uh, you know, things I have installed here. So if you go to the about screen, uh, you'll see that I'm running 5.1.1. It's jailbroken. Uh, there it is right there, 5.1.1. And uh, if you um, see all these little things that I have installed. So uh, what I have installed uh, to rotate the screen so that you get uh, landscaping and the icons turn is SB Rotator, I don't know what's it called, SB Rotator 6. And to um, have display out, I installed the display out. Uh, and with display out, uh, you can also uh, change your resolution and you can also use these sliders here to adjust the size of your, hang on, I'll just do one. I, I, it's very sensitive, so I don't want to go too crazy. So let me just turn this. So you see here, look, it adjusts the size. So you can, I, I like to just slightly under scan it. Um, but, you know, you get the point. Uh, display out is the key thing here. And uh, uh, what else do we have? We have, oh, I put in... Um, put in the BT stack uh, or it's beasts BTC um, I'll do you know all the links in the description um, when I think about what I have on here so you have be able to control the mouse you can change the settings in the mouse to make it faster or slower I think I'll slow it down a little bit and then um, what else do I have here? oh un unrestrict premium too so that I can and I'm going to show you that in a second I can play HBO go and Showtime on HBO go and Max go um, you know, without uh, it telling you, oh, you have an HDMI connected, you can't do it. So, SB Rotator, let's see, what else do I have? I have the mouse, the BTC, uh, display out, and I think that's pretty much it. So, now let me show you what it looks like, uh, video. Uh, so far, this screen is beautiful. I wouldn't say it's 1080p, but it's pretty close. Uh, so, let's say we were going into, uh, let's go to Maxco, just so I can show you the unrestrict works. Um, that's a, you know, you need a jailbroken phone and get that tune from Cydia. But um, you have Max Go here, and by now it would have displayed a message saying, no way, pal, you're not going to do it. Uh, you know, like a little message there. You might have seen it in my previous videos when I showed you my iPhone mirrored to my car. Um, so here it actually lets you into the app, and you can play a video. Now I'm going to show you. Eh, if it's upside down, don't worry about it. Just... Turn it. You know, I don't have follow interface. All right, so you flip it, okay? And ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> you flip it the right way. All right, so now we flipped it the right way, and I'm only going to show you a second of this because of copyright. But um, here's the video running, and um, there it is. I'm not going to go crazy showing you everything. Uh, I'll just. Uh, show you a little bit of it and if it's slightly under scan just double tap sometimes that zo zooms it up a little bit all right so now let's close that and now I'll, I'll show you like a, um, a video on YouTube all right so now you open up YouTube now Safari rotates obviously and um, I'll show you like one of my YouTube videos I don't know uh, here root the Minix Neo G4 so there goes my video, and it's full screen, and uh, it's doing its thing. So I'm going to hit play. Now this is all over Wi-Fi, but if you have an iPhone 4 and you have, and you have 4G, so let's see if I can do the double tap. Yeah, there you go. So you can mag it slightly, uh, whatever way you overscan or underscan. And sound's coming from the speakers, and that's working. And I'm not sure if I can lower the volume from no. But in display out, it actually tells you this control from the phone. But I, I don't know why it's not working. But uh, I'm not going to go crazy showing videos tonight. But let's just do the iPhone app. Now, if you were just going to use this for a dis bigger display, then you're key. You're, you're good. You know what I mean? But uh, if, you know, you want a laptop, you know, get a Raspberry Pi or, or 
some Android stick. But uh, here's Alex Cross. I got that from a friend. And you see my mouse uh, works. Okay. But, uh, that's a little bit of it. I'm not going to go crazy. I'll shut it off. So that's the, you know, iPod app. And then, you know, if you have video, you can stream from the internet. Um, there's a couple apps in the city that you can play some movies. And Another cool thing you could do is you can have your iPhone connect it. And uh, let's go into settings. We'll turn off display out off. And uh, it's still connected to the HDMI, so power is still running to it. And now we're going to go into the app that you get from City. It's called Air Server. And now you see the screen ch changes to an Air Server. So it's like an Apple TV. So say I wanted to play a video for my daughter's phone. Now this is one of my son's video. Um, you could hit play. And then uh, you just look for the iPhone. I'm sorry. Look for the iPhone 4. And it will serve the video over Wi-Fi. Uh, right there. So, And it plays. Uh, and you know when you air serve, it also has audio and everything. There you go. It's uh, serving it onto the screen of the laptop. And uh, now we're going to switch over to the iPhone 5, and I'll show you uh, how the iPhone 5 works on this. This is an iPhone 4, so let's switch over. I'll be right back. Okay, no signal. So now we're going to connect it, and I have the AV adapter made for the iPhone 5. Connect it the same way. So connect right in. And obviously we don't rotate the screen. Hit any key. And there it is. iPhone 5 mirrored to the Atrix lap dock. And you switch over. Obviously you can't hook up Bluetooth and uh, the mouse trackpad without a... Uh, but you know, once the jailbreak comes out, you're good. Uh, you know, I know you can do everything over LTE, uh, 4G and all that stuff. So, you know, it all opens up just the same, you know, there it is, and that's a video, one of my videos, and that's it, so there it is on the iPhone 5, uh, playing through the speakers and everything, you know, just like if you would have hooked it up to a big screen TV. So, this is my video, um, you know, I was wanted to make this video to show everybody that you can mirror uh, your iPhone to the uh, Atrix, Matrix, I mean Motorola Atrix laptop, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you on my next video. And if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments. I'll be happy to show you some things if you want to know. And also, if anybody knows how I can get that USB working, uh, you know, close the lid, and it charges. I don't, I don't get it. But as soon as you open the lid, it stops charging. So I, I don't get it, and uh, uh, maybe somebody could tell me, uh, you know, give me a link or something. All right, uh, have a nice day, and uh, see you on my next video.